This right here, when you're expanding one plus x to the four, it is always going to be one to the four plus, then it's going to be here, n is four, it's going to be four, choose, it's going to be one, or four choose one times one, then you subtract one from the four to be one cube, times x plus your next term is going to be four choose two times, it's going to be four choose two times one, four choose two times one square. And you're increasing the power of x times x square plus, then you're going to have four choose three times one, cube times x plus then you're going to have four choose four or some people would just say for the last term it's just going to be plus x to the four now of course you just have to expand this now one to the four is one plus now four choose one times one cube you put that in your calculator, four choose one times one cube, that is going to be four. It is now going to be four. And then this is times X plus four choose two, four choose two, which is six. So this will come plus six X squared. And then what we have right here is four choose three, four choose three, that is going to be four. And so that works out to be plus, it should have been cube, sorry. This should have just been one. I beg your pardon. So that is now four X cube plus x to the four. And this is known as binomial expansion. This saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of time. Instead of having to do this the normal way, normally what would you do? In order to find one plus x to the four, what you would normally do is write one plus x raised to the four is equal to one plus x times one plus x times one plus x times one plus x. Now, this can be quite hectic to expand. Now, just if you want to verify that you get the same answer, one plus four x plus six x squared plus four x cubed plus x to the four, you could go ahead and expand this. One plus x times one plus x. We know that is x squared plus two x times plus one. So that becomes x squared plus two x plus one. And it's then going to be multiplied of course again by x squared plus two x plus one. This is just to verify that binomial expansion is indeed true. And then after you expand this to verify, this will become equal to x squared times all of this, x squared times all of this becomes x cubed plus 2x. x squared times x squared is x to the 4, x to the 4, x to the 4, x squared times 2x, that's 2x cubed plus x squared. Then we have now 2x times x squared, that's now 2x cubed, 2x cubed. Then we have 2x times 2x, that's now 4x squared, 4x squared. Then we have 2x times 1, that is now plus 2x. And then we have 
1 times x squared, that is just x squared. And then we have 1 times 2x, that's just 2x. Then we have 1 times 1, that's just plus 1. All right. Now, all I have to do is group like terms. As you can see right here, we only have one x to the four term, x to the four. Then we have a two x cube right here, two x cube and a two x cube that become plus four x cube. So we get x to the four plus four x cube. Then we have a x square, a four x square and a x square, that's six x square. 6x squared, and then we have a 2x, and we have a 2x, so that's 4x, and then we have plus 1. So what is the point of me doing this? The point is to just display that whether you use binomial expansion, you can see that it is way shorter, we get our answer in a quicker time, than if we were to just use regular expansion. The binomial expansion works. So remember that formula, a plus x to the n is equal to that long thing right there. Let's look at some more intriguing examples. Let's look at this one. Look at this one. One plus two x to the fifth power. So one plus two x to the fifth power, again, it's gonna be one to the fifth, your n is five, plus your n is five, this is your a, and this is like your x. So it's one to the five plus, then your n, five, choose one, five choose one, times your a, to the fourth power, which is n minus one, times two x, plus, this is then going to be your five, choose two, five choose two, times, five choose two, times your one cube, times two x squared, plus, it's then going to be you now five, choose three times your one square times your two x cubed times your two x cubed plus, then it's going to be you now your five, choose four times your one, just one, times two x to the four. Following the formula, that's what we have. And then plus, it's going to be two x to the fifth power. Two x to the fifth power. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice. So that works out to be equal to, this works out to be equal to, no, one to the fifth right here. One to the fifth, that's just one plus, now five choose one is five times, so five times two is 10, so this works out to be 10 times x, plus five choose two, five choose two is, five choose two, put that in your calculator, is 10, times this two square, so 10 times four, that is 40 x square. Then you have five choose three, which is 10 times two cube, that becomes 80 x cube. That becomes 80 x cube. Then you have plus your five choose four, your five choose four, that's five times two to the four. That's 80 X to the four. 80 X to the four. 
80x to the 4. And then you have 2x to the 5. 2x to the 5, that is now 2 to the 5th power, 2 to the 5th power, that's 16x to the 5th. So that's your final answer. So many persons like to write it in descending powers of x. You could go ahead and write it in descending powers of x. So you could start by saying it is 16 x to the fifth plus 80 x to the four plus, this was a cube, plus 80 x cube plus 40 x squared plus 10 x, 40 x squared plus 10 x plus one. So that's your final answer. All right, nice and easy, soft, nice. Now, of course, they don't leave